Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ravi, Professor of Mechanical Engineering and our today's topic is isometric view of a pentagonal pyramid and that is keeping axis vertical and you will be learning this, how to draw within 5 minutes and let us see the edge or which is also called side is given 30 mm and height of the pyramid is 70 mm. So, as you know, the base of the pyramid is a pentagon and which is having non-isometric edges. Whenever you come across with non-isometric edges, you need to draw the orthographic view of this particular base. So, let us start drawing orthographic view and let us complete that pentagon. Draw a line of length 50 mm. And within this, you mark 30 mm length. Call this is point A and B. From outer, you measure 72 degrees. This is 72 degrees, as you know, it is a 360 divided by 5 edges. That gives 72 degrees. And locate the point that is 30 mm. And the left side also you measure 72 degrees and locate the point. This angle also 72. After erecting the edges, this I center radius is equals to 30 mm, draw a circular arc. And the other point I center with the help of compass, let us intersect it and locate the corner of the pentagon. Now, let us give the names for the corners C, D, and E. Observe this, you need to draw, this you have to inscribe in a box, inscribe in a rectangle because uh, it is having non-isometric edges. Let us draw a vertical line and a horizontal line, again vertical line and uh, passing through the base. So, this completes, uh, you know, give the numbering for the corners 1, 2, it is 3 and 4. Now you inscribe the pentagon in a rectangle 1, 2, 3, 4. First you draw the isometric view of this uh, rectangle in top view. You know how to draw it. Let us draw a horizontal line and uh, to the right of it draw a line at an angle 30 degrees and to the left of it is also draw an angle 30 degrees and on these lines this reference point is your 1, mark 2 to the right. So, this is your 2 to the right and 4 to the left, here 4. So, with the help of compass, let us take this as radius, draw a circular arc and uh, you know this size center, radius is equal to 1, 4, intersect it and you got the parallelogram. Join and this point is your 3. After completing the <coughs> top view of this, uh, you know, rectangle with the help of compass, your 1A which is also equal to 2B. So, let us mark on 1, 2. So, let us locate your point A with the capital, write down capital letters. Capital letters are being used in isometric uh, views. And from 2, it is B with the help of compass locate, uh, this is your point B. And again C, so it is uh, somewhere here with the help of compass, this is your C. And uh, D, obviously this becomes midpoint and that you can locate with the help of compass. And finally, let us see, this is your point E. You have located all the points. And with the 2H pencil, let us uh, draw, let us join in proper sequence that is, uh, you know, AB, BC, CD, DE and EA. This is the base of the pyramid. And after this, what you have to do is locate the midpoint. To locate the midpoint from midpoint of this edge, join with the corner and midpoint of this particular edge to join with the corner, the intersecting point is your midpoint and uh, draw 
this line in isometric view and with the help of compass set off this distance so that your midpoint is located. From midpoint erect a vertical line height is given 70 mm. So this is the apex of the pyramid. Once you locate this and here you must be careful in joining with the corners of the base. Let us join with uh, B so that if you join B, so C has come inside, you need not draw C and uh, join with D and join with uh, E and uh, join with uh, A. So after this, with the help of HB pencil, you have to highlight and you have to erase certain edges also. Here, let us see, I am highlighting or you have to draw with HB pencil. Let us see all these are visible slant edges and uh, these are inside which are not visible. You can in isometric you know it is general practice that uh, hidden edges will be not showing. You will be erasing it. That is usual practice. I think you have understood how to draw the pentagonal pyramid and now you can complete uh, start practicing. Thank you.